Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Committed Critics, a pop culture podcast that ends tomorrow. Hi, my name is Kevin Lau. I'm one of the hosts of Committed Critics. But hey, if you've been watching the channel for a while, like, you know, you know who I am. You you should know who I am. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, tomorrow is going to be our last episode of Committed Critics, the uh, episode 100. It's a uh, it's a big one. It's a good one. The reason why that we're ending Committed Critics is not because of any like drama or anything like that. It's just it's time. It's time. Uh, we've been doing uh, 100 episodes now as of tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, you know, with subscriber count being at like yeah, 43, 45. It's like and it's been like that for like two and a half years that we've been doing it. Like no sign of it going up at all. Yeah, you got, you got time to call it quits, man. Uh, it takes it takes time to do stuff like this. Uh, and uh, it's time that we're like, you know, I kind of want to do something else for Zach and Jordan. They want to go to Bluebell Bake, uh, which you can watch all of their stuff. Great content. Um, and then for me, like I want to focus on Backlog Boogaloo because, you know, that's it's more in my wheelhouse of talking, just talking about movies and books and video games. And Ryan mentioned that he's going to be potentially streaming a little bit with a friend of his. So TBA on that. There's no name yet, but keep an eye on the socials not trying to say that subscriber count should always be the main motivator for content creators uh it's just something that we felt like okay like we've kind of you know been through the motions with committed critics we got the formula we got uh you know we've talked kind of we kind of said our piece about kind of the things in this space and uh it you know it just gets to a point where you're just like eh, it's all right the well's kind of dried up we kind of should just move on unless like this somehow becomes huge and popular and we're able to make this a full-time job. I mean, again, like this is not saying for anyone who's aspiring to be a content creator uh, that like, Oh, like if you're not getting subscribers, you should just quit. Like, don't like just give up on your dreams. No, don't do that. Don't. Uh, sometimes like uh, the way the algorithm works, uh, you kind of just have to keep doing your thing and just uh, hone, you know, hone your skills, always take, be willing to take in feedback to improve your content. Uh, and then eventually that it'll just grow. It'll hopefully find the right, right audience. But then again, like it's still like a lottery um, and you can only put so much time and energy into a lottery before you, you know, not necessarily feel defeated, but like feel like, okay, I need to try a different path. Like something here isn't working. Let's try something else. For me, uh, for Backlog Boogaloo, uh, that was a something else I tried just last year. Just made a couple videos on that channel, did no advertising or anything like that. And I actually like, my views were pretty good on that one, uh, as well as like the interactions and subscriber count. Like it's not above committed critics, but like it grew quickly despite me never posting it on my personal social media. Uh, so that's something where, okay, like these two videos did really well, no advertising. I should try to pursue that with Zach and Jordan with Bluebell Bay decided to make their own little cooking show in their own apartment. And it's just working out really well for them. Uh, like their subscriber count surpassed uh, at criminal critics like pretty quickly. Uh, so it's even my advice to them was, hey, you should do something with that. Like you should put m more effort into that. And it just became this thing where with Zach and Jordan Bluebell Bake, me wanting to pursue Backlog Boogaloo and as well as my career uh, and Ryan pursuing his career with now a full time job, it became sort of a lower priority to do anything with committed critics like you know, if, if Zach had a situation where he's like, oh, I have to choose between editing Bluebell Bake or editing Committed Critics, I tell him, edit Bluebell Bake first. For me, working in the film industry and there's not much work going on during the strikes, I had to pick up some part-time work and keep myself afloat. Um, so it be, kind of became harder for me to fit in uh, Committed Critics when I had you know maintain a part-time job on top of my freelance work uh, producing commercials. And so, you know, it just kind of led to this kind of a long explanation, but you know, just want to be 
transparent about that. I will say that all the episodes of Committed Critics is going to stay on YouTube. Like nothing's going to get deleted. It's all just going to stay there. It's preserved because uh, you never know that like if you leave your content up long enough, someone may maybe the right person finds it becomes absolutely obsessed and then just, you know, starts telling their friends about it. And then, then it just grows and grows and grows from that. Um, so not saying that like Committed Critics is done for forever. It's just kind of like, all right, let's put it to rest. Focus on something that's currently working instead. But if it does get big, you know, it could come back. Uh, but yeah, like I said, everything's going to stay on YouTube. Uh, we're going to remove it from the podcast from all podcast platforms because that's a subscription based service that we have to pay for. So we're going to just mm, ax that no more, no more. Uh, it's just all going to be on YouTube anyway, cause it's free. Um, and also on Patreon, all those Patreon exclusive episodes are going to remain on Patreon as well. And we're just going to keep that behind a $1 paywall, uh, with a seven day free trial. So that way you can like still access it for free. If you really want to access those episodes, um, however, like it's still that $1 option is still available for people who like, who do eventually find it. If they really want it to come back, they can at least, you know, throw some money at it and that would help us kind of like convince us. It's like, yeah, we should get the band back together. But yeah, so I just want to say for all of us in, on, the, on the show, uh, thank you very much for sticking with us for a hundred episodes. We've been watching from the start. Or just sticking around in general, helping support us. I mean, like a lot of you guys, even though like don't listen to every episode, uh, like I know you guys are still in full support of uh, everything that we do at Committed Critics. Other friends with with podcasts uh, like Danny Vincent, who works on uh, the Snub Club and Looking for the Ocean. And then there's, you know, Ty with Ty and Dan talking about MCU projects. Joe and Kayla with New 52 that came on the show when we talked about Radiant Black. Andy Phillips from the YouTube channel, Andy Phillips, and Andy Ryan Kolokowski, who's also on Andy Phillips' channel. And, you know, with uh, Breaking Into Cinema, a very short-lived podcast that we did, uh, which is me, Tiffany McLaughlin, and Cassie Balschmidt. That was a fun time, but, uh, you know, we just got busy with work. It just happens. It's normal in the film industry when you're working freelance. There's no, like, regular schedule to maintain. You just kind of take the jobs as they come in. So yeah, like all those people and, you know, and more who have like listened and interacted with the podcast. You know, thank you very much for your support. Tomorrow's episode is going to be a big one. 100th episode, roughly about two hours long. Uh, we're going to play a role playing game called Honey Heist, where I'm going to be the game master and Zach, Ryan and Jordan are going to play as bears who are trying to steal honey from Honey Con. It's going to be a good time. Hope you guys enjoy it. And once again, thank you for all the support you've given us for the past two and a half, almost three years. Wow, we've been doing this for almost three years. But uh, it's time to move on. Like I said, if you want to support us on the other channels, you just have to look in the description uh, and click subscribe. You never know. A little subscription, a little like can go a long way. And like I said, for anyone who is discovering this channel for the first time and they finally came across this video, hey, I I still I can still see the stats on this channel like I'm still it's attached to my account so if you're going to be interacting with it and you want it to come back just say so well we'll make something happen all right enjoy tomorrow's episode and have fun